Brooklyn Rocker Z02 on WFUV. We got him on the phone. It's Pauly Z, David Z, Joey hanging out with us. Guys, tell me who are your influences and what's on your iPod lately? Well, uh, as far as influences, uh, we love everything from Kiss, Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, ACDC. Stone Temple Pilots. And uh, shuffling through the iPod, you'll find stuff like Double Revolver. You hear some Jet. Wolf Mother. Very cool, very cool. So where are you guys playing in New York City? Anywhere local we can catch you. Uh, yeah, we have a residency over at Southpaw in Brooklyn. And we're playing this Saturday night at 10. We're actually uh, backstage at a show right now, so we got to kind of get going, man. But thanks so much for the interview. All right, we'll let you go. It's Brooklyn Rockers Z02 on WFUV. Thanks so much, man. All right, guys, let's tear this up. Hey, everybody! We are the Z Brothers, and welcome to Timmy's birthday party! Rico, when are you going to buy me a new set of drums? What? You don't have backups? You destroyed my whole kit. What kind of moron leaves the van door open and drives off like that? I have a lot on my mind, OK? I have to worry about the driving. I have to worry about directions. I have to worry about dealing with the club owners. Shutting the van door? You have to worry about that? All right, I guess that's a big one, too. <laughs> I swear to god, that was the stupidest thing you've ever done. No. The stupidest thing he does is shave a Z in his pubic hair. <laughs> He's right. That trumps it. First of all, that's not stupid. It's creative. Why do you even do it? Because it's good promotion. Promotion for what? For the band, man. <laughs> and it's like a surprise for them when they go down there. Like what? They go down and say, surprise, you're an idiot? <laughs> Great news, boys. I got you the Harry Bronstein gig. Shut up. Oh, shut up. I got it. Dina is our manager, and uh, she's awesome. She really works her ass off for us. Yeah, she's the one that got us the KISS tour. Dina, you are awesome. That gig is huge. You bet your ass it's huge. Tomorrow is Harry Bronstein Day. I want you to wake up and say, Happy Harry Bronstein Day. <laughs> if this works out, you could finally get signed to a record deal. Yes. OK, guys, there's one important thing you need to know, OK? Harry Bronstein is no meditating Buddhist like Rick Rubin or Russell Simmons. He's not a nice guy. This is a psychotic cokehead, OK? Although he does have primo blow. I don't do that anymore, though. And you shouldn't. It's awful. Gateway drug to other things. All I'm saying is, this guy could make or break your careers with one word. But don't worry about it. You know, have fun. Relax. Flat iron your hair. Hit something with a stick. Preferably your girlfriend. <laughs> Just kidding. She's a gem. We love her. Now listen. Tonight is not an ordinary gig at Southpaw, either. Why, what's up? I may have a special guest coming tonight. Man or woman? Ooh, charades! <laughs> OK, stop it. I hate it when you do that. Is it a music person, at least? I'm not going to tell you. I don't want to jinx this. I don't know for sure if this person is coming. All you need to know is that you guys need to be focused and be the rock stars you are. All right, I got to go. I'm late for my Brazilian. Big night, huge! See you later. That's awesome. Being the manager of a rock and roll band is an amazingly rewarding career. The only thing that might be better, might be better, is if I were Pope. <laughs> but you know, that's a long shot for a variety of reasons. Dina, Dina, Dina. Oh, what's up, Polly? I'm really worried about the band. What? Why? I just gave you the best news. I know, but I, okay, I'm okay. just worried anyway. Come here. No. Tell me, what's on your mind? We don't have enough money to pay for the studio rent. Again. OK, first of all, Polly, that is not a little thing. Studio rent is a big thing. It, it's in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Food and shelter, they're at the top. Without that, you can't even think straight. So I will take care of you. Rent covered by me. I'm going to get a Brazilian now. Are we OK? Who's Maslow? 
These are psychologists who spawned this whole school of therapy that is not even covered by my insurance anymore. It does, wait, look, it, that doesn't matter. Okay, what so matters is I have got all this taken care of. That's the manager's job, okay? Besides that, or just as, like in general, okay? Everything was going so good. Then we got the KISS tour, and then it's like, you know, it just feels um, like nothing. What? What did well, I say? I, I love you, but what do I have to do to make this kiss worry go away? It's making me... Okay. How did you get to open for kiss? No, what happened? What happened, Polly? Well, I don't That you got on. to open for them? Oh, I you, went to... You went to Temple with Paul Stanley's Bobby. Bobby. I and I ate your filter fish with her, right? Yes, and you're allergic to horseradish. Yeah, I, I know care. I story. Do, you know why I do that? Because I will whore myself so that you don't have to. I don't care if my throat closes. What does that matter? I'm not Jewish, but I'm a good manager. So I go to Temple for the connections. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, fellas? What's up, man? Joey? Whoa, whoa, huh? Paulie, what's up, buddy? How you doing, Neil? How long has it been since I seen you last? We were here last week. We're here every week. Oh, who gives a shit, man? You're looking good, though, man, huh? Holy fuck balls. What the hell's going on here? What's going on here? Something's different since last week. Something's different. What are you doing? Huh? What have you been doing? Lifting amps and stuff. Lifting amps? Get the fuck out of here. You going to the gym? Huh? You benching? You doing some bench work? I go to the gym sometimes. Guys, yeah. what do you need? Gym? No, we're good. We got it. We got it. These guys are doing awesome, I'm good. man. Thanks. What gym you go to? I had to cancel my membership a few weeks back because I hurt my back trying to suck my own dick. You know how that goes. I was like this close, dude. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, I have an idea, and I want you to hear me out. Me and you, we get out of town, three-day weekend, okay? Somewhere out in nature, I want there to be a mountain, maybe some deer walk around, we feed them with our hands, right? Maybe we kill it, eat it, I don't know. I want to have some fun. Are we wearing pants? I haven't thought that far ahead yet, but it'd be nice to see you running around, Dick knocking back and forth like a grandfather clock. It's gonna be a party. Should we jump in? Or... No, he's fine. Leave him. Tell me you're on board with this. After no, not the way you just described it. Tell me you're on board. Mm -mm. Hmm. Hmm. Shh. I want you to stop thinking with this. Start thinking with this. A little bit of that. Hmm. Neil, you know what? I'm, you know I'm not gay. So okay, what? Gay? Who's gay? Just... I will bite your penis. You say I'm gay again. Is that what you want? I'll nibble on your nut bag like a frightened squirrel. Just um, num, 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 num. For hours, I'll do that. All right? So watch your mouth in my club. Right. Dude, I got to yes. Okay, go save me. Hey, Paul. Okay. Yeah? I need help with the sand. Okay. Oh, you... Dude, you don't care. He said he Come needs on, this is heavy, ball. man. I, I can't oh, lift wait. this. <laughs> I've done my good deed for the day. You left me there for like 20 minutes. Dude, I just saved your ass. I could have left you there for another 20. Unbelievable. Free, don't, you owe us on that one. What took you guys so long? That's what I don't understand. Why, Why did you stand that? there with him the whole time? You're flirting with him. Dude, we could send you flirting. back. Yes. We could send you back, man. Flirting? Are you fucking crazy? It's a good looking guy, right? If you were a dude, would you be a gnome? If I was a dude? You know what I'm saying. Give me a break. If that was me, I would have slapped him in the mouth. That's you. Yes. That's not me. You're Italian. I'm Jewish. I don't beat the shit out of people. I talk the shit out of people. I love you truly. Oh, God. I love you truly. Hey, Polly, how do you really feel about me? I love you truly. Mm -hmm. Can you please? You know I have to do vocal warm-ups. Why do you keep asking me? Paul, we know it helps you. It kills us. Are your pants here? on? I have a special oh. guest. Come up here. No way. This is my Aunt Joan. Oh. Are you me? Oh my Aunt God! This is How are you? I know. Let me get. She's told me so much about you. All right, let me guess. Uh, obviously, Joey, right? The good looking of the three. <laughs> Paulie, just the hair. Oh my God! And uh, <laughs> Italian, it screams. It screams Mussolini. Look at you, El Duce. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you. Thank you. You're, you're That's Paulie. I'm Joey. Oh, I'm Paulie. Die. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, whatever. I, I'm so happy you're here. What? Why here? <laughs> so weird Wait, seeing you here. Yeah, this is... Well, Aunt, Aunt Joan's here because she's playing the Mohegan Sun, the casino. Yeah, right? and, uh, tell them the news. It's, it's an Indian casino. That's not okay. this. Not that. <laughs> Feather. Feather. <laughs> they said I could pick my own opening act. 
and I've heard about you guys, and I love my niece very much. So uh, she said, go younger, and she's right. Oh, my God, that'd be great. Are you yeah. kidding me? Are you no. asking us to open for you? Is that what I, 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 now, this is kind of an audition, so you guys just, like, oh. don't be nervous. Oh. I think oh. all you know. Jews and white trash would love you, and those are my people. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Your late father would have been so pleased about everything you're doing. Jojo, he's alive. And no, he said to tell you... He married your mother. He's dead to the family. Uh, uh, excuse us. Gee, watch, watch your bag. I don't like this place. I told you not to bring the Hermes here. It's a knockoff. It's OK. Hi. Oh, hi, Becky. How are you? Good. Unlike these two sluts, uh, I actually have a girlfriend, uh, Becky. I'm not a slut. I am. Well, these two morons are slutting around town, catching every disease in the book. I'm at home with Becky hanging out. She's great. Everyone loves her. She's practically the fourth member of the band. This is my aunt, Joan, Joan oh, Rivers. Oh, hi. This is Becky, you. Joey's friend. Yeah. QVC lady, yes, right? Yes. yes. Well, yeah, totally she's also face. a very famous comedian and talk oh. show host. Well, Say something so funny. funny. <laughs> We've been together for a long time. I met her at the hospital where I work. Yeah, she's a nurse, too. She's not a nurse, and I'm not a nurse either, idiot. How many times do I have to tell you this? Dude, do you work at a hospital? Yes. Are you a doctor? No. Then you're a nurse. He's a nurse. Oh, before I forget, before we, we're going to start in a minute, um, I'm sorry about the wedding. It was a wedding. Oh, mm -hmm. my sister's wedding. I am the sorry wedding. he has to miss that gig. My sister's getting married, so. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank no, no, you. No, no, he, he can't miss the gig. I'm not missing a wedding. I mean, it's my sister's wedding. It's two weeks away. Can't you move her? A wedding? Becky's a bit of a speed bump. But I'm sure that's what Paul said about Yoko. <laughs> what do you suggest I do, get Becky? Get a new drummer, get a drum machine. Or I could just get a new girlfriend. Well, there's girls are everywhere. <laughs> Look around. Yeah, really. There's yeah. time. It's time, time a dozen. fans are the best. And when we're rocking out on stage, there is no better feeling than looking out into that crowd and connecting with every single one of them. I promise you, the VIP bathroom is much cleaner than the other one. I would rather wear a Depends. I'm, I'll, I'll wait till I hit New York. Please, leave me alone. Right, well, just let me say goodbye to the boys. Tell me what you thought, though. <sighs> Daddy, oh, no, I... No, 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 don't make just not right. Okay. Yeah. You owe me a really beautiful piece of jewelry yeah, for getting I, my hopes up. Here, look. Here, wait. Here, here. Take this. This is going to be a Today Special bag, if you oh, can have it. she's so generous. <laughs> Good news. Bad news. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have brought my aunt here. She loves you guys, but it was a, it's a bad fit. Oh, it's kidding. not going to happen? It, it's just a bad fit. But the good news is, the great news, actually, is tomorrow, 
<laughs> you're going to be seen by Harry Bronstein. Guys, this is a huge opportunity because you can actually get I signed. Know. I took off work already. I'm going to sleep. Good These boy. are the idiots you have to worry about, not me. I'm a little worried because I see the skanks on ice, and here's what needs to happen. Oh, guys, that? guys, guys, I love you. Focus. Promise me you won't fuck those girls tonight. We promise. Hey, at least we're not fucking them. <laughs> Yet. What the hell is that? What? It's a Z. A Z? Yeah, a Z. Oh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Come on, it's a promotional tool. You don't get it? Hello? Hey, Paulie Z? Yeah, who's this? Yeah, Harry Bronstein. Is this a bad, bad time? Oh. Hi, sir, how are you doing? Uh, so, listen, uh, I just, I just, uh, just heard that there's an accident on the bridge, so you might want to come through the tunnel. All right, that's a great suggestion. I'll do that. Thank you so much. Hey, great. Uh, uh, See you when you get here. Uh, oh, okay. All right, later. Fuck! You fucking morons! You don't think we know that we screwed up? What's wrong with you? I don't understand what happened. I woke up this morning, I didn't have a call last night, and there was no van in the, the lot. I know, man, I'm sorry, listen. We fell asleep in the van, we passed out, all of us. Maybe we should have just went home and just fucking whacked one out. That's, that's... Yes! Just, honestly, that's what we should have did. Like you always do. Oh shit, it's Ron scene again. Don't answer it. I can't believe we're this fucking late. Just forget everything that ha doesn't matter what time it is. We're gonna go up, we're gonna do what we always yeah. do. Let's go in there and kick ass, okay? Okay. A big giant dinosaur of some kind. Oh, oh, hey everybody! Look who it is! It's the Z Brothers, huh? Yeah, it's the Z Brothers are here, huh? You're dead. Come with me. Kitty Bron. Joey, nice, nice to meet you. Hi. Kitty Bron. Nice to meet you. I'm so sorry we're late. No, 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 no. Where the fuck were you? Shut up! Where were you? Shut up! Where were you? Shut up! Maybe time and space are meaningless to you. Maybe that's it. Maybe time and space are, are meaningless abstractions. So, so what does lateness mean? Nothing. It's a fucking poof. It's a, it's a fucking figment of our imagination. Tell me that. Or are you late like the inbred Brooklyn troglodyte that you are? I don't even know what that means, but I'm assuming it's an insult. So um, I'm just going to ask you, can we just do the party? No, we can't just do the party. You fucked the whole party up. You know who you're fucking with? You call yourself a musician? You fucking circus chimp? I'm Harry fucking Bronstein, Nickelback. Do you know who brought Nickelback out to the public? Harry Bronstein? No, I'm well, not Harry Bronstein, a friend of mine did it. But I could have very easily done it. Black Crows, they're mine. Very good band, excellent band. A lot of their songs sound alike. Uh... Similar, right, their sound is... But they got the spirits, they got... Look, I don't give a fuck about the Black Crows! This is my son's birthday party and you fucked it up! Holy shit! Oh. Sebastian Bach! How's it going? What the hell are you doing here? Well, dude, I got kids! You were a dad. Yeah. We're huge fans, man. I love your stuff. Number one, you got great taste. <laughs> but number two, you know what's crazy? I am a huge fan of you guys. No way. Yes. Dude, that is... For real. <laughs> so, where'd you see us? Like, on the KISS tour? KISS? Yeah, did you see us when we, when we toured with KISS? No, 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 not kiss. Kids, kids. My kids love Z Brothers. Oh, no. every time I'm rocking in my van going down to fucking Jimboree, all I'm cranking is Z Brothers. No, man, that's just our day gig. We actually have a real rock band. Yeah, I mean, we got a CD. It'd be killer if you can listen to it. Dude, forget the CD, man, honestly. But you know what? Play Wheels on the Bus. My kid loves that song. Thanks, man. That's embarrassing. I guess a tour with him is out of the question. Fuck you and your little fucking monkey pals. Okay. I'm calling Kid Tastic. I got Kid Tastic. No, 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 no. They're no, gonna no. come and play no, the party. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Why not? Why don't you? No, no, no. You know what? Why not? Why should I not call Kid Tastic? Give me one goddamn good reason. I'll tell you why. Because in the world of kids' music, the Z Brothers are like Led Zeppelin. Kid Tastic, those guys are like Ario Speedwagon. See? Now, right. Think of the catalog there. He's gonna be running around the house singing whole lot of love as opposed to running around the house with his dick tucked between his legs singing, can't fight this feeling. 
Can't fight this feeling. All right, listen, listen. I'm sorry. Okay. Go out there, do a nice job. Okay. Do a great show. If you fuck this up, if you fuck this party up, I'm gonna suck your soul out and face fuck it to death. You're hurting my head. But let's go have a good time. Okay. They're good kids. You know, lighten it up. Sebastian Bach, huh? That's Sick. crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. Crazy is last night, dude. You want crazy? It was like Caligula on oh, speed. What are you guys talking about? Last night. Tell me about last night. What are you talking about last night? Let's get to the party. You have no, any idea what? Me. Do you have any idea what I just went through? Okay, later, later. It I was, hear this. it was worth it, wasn't it? Nuts. For starters, this girl wanted to get me on all fours. She wanted to give me a rim job. Oh, hey. Rim job? Hey, Jason. No, man. A, a, a rim job is like, like a musical term. It's something you do on the drums, like after you tell a joke, like ba dum bum. Like, like how do you get a tissue to dance? You put a little boogie in it. That's giving someone a rim job. Could you do me a favor? Can you go find mommy and daddy, and then we're gonna get ready to start? Okay? Thank you so much. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? I didn't see him there. He's been there the Did whole you... time. You saw him? Why did he something? Are you an idiot? We're a rock band. Zio 2 is who we are. But we also have to pay bills. So, we're also a kids band. Yeah, but the great thing about Z Brothers is we come in dressed like rockers. I mean, we come in with our rock heads on. I mean, basically, we're doing a ZO2 show for the kids. The set list is just a little different. Here's what we're gonna do. The next song is gonna be about a chicken, all right? And what I want you to do is when you hear a chicken sound, you hear that sound, I want you to jump as high as you can. Can you do that? Say, yeah! Listen for that sound, because it's coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Ah! Bring it down. There are all perks to doing the Z Brother shows. Some of these moms are pretty hot. <laughs> and we've been known to take advantage of that. Ah! 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 Yeah, yeah. It's not a bad gig. Now, bring it down. First of all, you guys are moms. Second of all, you guys are moms. What are you doing here? It's my nephew's birthday. Harry Bronstein is your brother. Yeah. He can never know this. Oh, no. Never. OK, ever. and neither can our husbands. No, uh, that's obviously a given. OK, so we, we, we have an understanding? Yes. It's an oral agreement? Fine. Yes. Uh, OK, all right, all right, you guys go back out first. It will go out like 30 seconds after. OK, okay. okay go ahead. Jesus. Oh. By the way, you got great balls. Thank you. Yeah. All right, everybody. We are going to do the very special birthday song, so everyone sing along with us. You guys ready? It's your special day. Everyone will sing and shout hooray. What'd you wish for, buddy? I wish to give that man a rim job. I'm sorry about the rim job thing. I don't know where that kid gets a fucking mouth like that. Anyway, thanks again. It was great. And uh, hey, you guys, you know, I'm always looking for bands. If you got a CD or something, I'll be gone. Uh, really? It. Yeah, sure. I have it. Hold yeah, on. great, great. And you guys were great, seriously, like the Almonds in 72, Watkins Glen. Really fantastic. This was a kick-ass party. Great. Thank you, kid. Take care of yourself. All right. Thank you.
Rico. Well, we all right? Let's go listen to our CD. Yes, good work. Huh? huh? Good stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Where's Dave? I don't know. Uh, he's around. He's got to be here somewhere, right? All right, let's find him. Freaky. Dave. Hey. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Listen. Sorry, Mrs. Bernstein. I did not need to see that. That's your brother. He is going to screw this whole thing up. And yeah, what'd you expect? No. Mark, Mark.